Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. As you can see, I have mixed bunch of colors today and I'm very excited to do some interesting painting. Um, you know, with fluid art, you plan so many things, but execution is a different story. So today I want to uh, try something. Um, I tried it before, but I was not very successful. So today I'm going to try this again. You'll see as we go. So let's start. The canvas size that you see here is a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. So it's a kind of like mid size canvas, I would say. And this is one of my favorite size. So let's start layering with base coat first. So I'm going to try with something of this color, which is really pale yellow, uh, pink on one side and you'll see that I would try to use as less of a paint as I can for my base coat because I don't want to, um, as we can see with bloom, when you spin your painting, your uh, composition gets distorted a lot of the time it turns out pretty a lot of the times it's not a good thing so i guess what i'm thinking in my mind is that design that i want to do now or the composition that i'm thinking of now it's not a good thing that if i have too much paint on the surface that i'm working right now so that's the mindset i have for now so what i'm doing is basically covering my base and of course, I need to make sure that I have the sides done very neat and nice. So what I'm going to do is I am going to spread it out and then give a nice spin so it will cover everything. Hopefully, I don't have to do it again because I just finished all my paint. Now let's do the white side. Similar idea, not too thick. So I'm just spreading the paint, making sure it's touching the pink. Yeah, I know that I have some imperfection here from my gloves, but it doesn't matter. Everything will be covered. You will not see your base coat, so not very worried about okay now let's spin again So let's start with the first layer. In this video, I think it's wise to introduce you to the paints in batches. So the first pro uh, paint that I have is from Creative Inspiration and the paint color is called Veridian uh, Green. And I added color art, Lime Squeeze. I mix some of them in this uh, with the Veridian Green. The second color that I have, olive green, again from Creative Inspirations. Uh, the third one that I have, this one is 
uh, master's touch and it's called light olive green and I also mixed some art minds candy apple with this one and this is the beautiful color and the last color that I have which is basically antique gold from a folk art so these are the four colors that I'll be using in my first layer of my painting let me start with the green light olive green some antique gold maybe olive green some extra green gold and of course the cell activator So now I realized that I needed more paint here because my vision was to the green to go all the way to the top. And also you can see that I did not even cover the sides and I ran out of paint. So I have to create a couple of extra um, puddle and blew it off and see where, where I land. can see by adding another puddle I covered one side of the canvas I have to do the same on the other side I want it to go a little bit let's let me um, spin it and see how far it goes because I want it to go further away if it goes it by spinning then that will be awesome otherwise I would have to fill up some more green color I need some more. As you can see, the last puddle that I created, it did not do anything for me. And yet it created this mess in the center. So I'll probably try to modify it. If it doesn't work, I'll go for a second round.
I think my mistake was I should have started here instead of here. So probably I should do it again. What do you think? Being a fluid artist is diff difficult sometimes because you have a vision in your mind, but if you cannot execute them, what you are dreaming about, you get frustrated, you want to redo it again. That's what I'm going through right now. Basically, I'm, st I'm going to start my layering here. That's why it's a good idea to mix a little bit more paint than you'd need. But again, you take the chance of wasting your paint because they dry off sometime, even though you are using your container air tight it doesn't work but this is how it is okay much better even though i think i needed some more green on the top but i'm getting at the end of my patience so i'm going to move on to my next step and of course i'm going to lose a lot of the paint because i had a lot of paint here as you can see But I really love, love the cells that I have here. So that's a good thing and I always can fix these corners. Not a problem at all. Okay. I'm basically removing this area. Okay, let me wipe my hands. Now I'm going to go back and put a tad bit of white. Why am I doing this? Because next set of uh, blooms that I'm going to do, I'm going to use lighter colors. And I definitely don't want them to be... Um, I don't want the green to be shown from underneath. That's why I did that. As we all know, fluid art is unpredictable. In that world, I'm trying to create something pretty strict or precise.
now in this layer i am using this one is called um crescendo from color um, sorry tlp um, the second color that i have i mixed flamingo from tlp which is this color next one that i have here is basically what i have to it's becoming thicker it's called knockout from arts mind it's discontinued by now and the last color that i have this one is basically what is it called persian rose from um amsterdam so these are the four colors that i'm using here You might be thinking why did not I start with more paints uh, to start with so I don't have to add those um, extra paints later on here and there and to make the composition work. The answer is because I have to make sure that I don't have too much paint because I cannot as you can see spin too much in this kind of composition so that restricted me of pouring too much paint but I guess I have to come into terms with how much is enough and I have to learn it as I go and that will come from experience. I have a lot of paint on the surface. I'm just going to take chance and see what happens because it's impossible to get rid of. Now in this one i have three colors first one is called majesty from tlp the second color this one is basically shangria from tlp and the last one that i have this one is a mixture of prism violet from uh, liquidex basics and uh, a little bit of 
French kiss from color art so these are the three colors that I mixed for my um, last step and by the way my cell activator is going to be Amsterdam's lamp black mixed with Australian Floetrol
in person the colors of the pigments are to die for on the canvas i am so excited how it dries to look at it now i'm using a syringe to suction up some of the excess paint that i have there because if i leave them there it's going to give me cracks i don't want that to happen so i am using a syringe to um, siphon up some of the paints from the uh, canvas and this is another technique you can try in the situation you run into like mine so um and we'll see how it dries I hope you can visualize my um, initial plan, how I wanted the composition to be. I know in the camera it looks kind of messy, but in person it's actually really cute and nice. Um, so I'm going to let it dry and I will show you what I did. So this is the dried result as you can see it's very interesting and a lot of things going on here um, also once it dried I used the acrylic Amsterdam acrylic pen which is black to draw some definition or created some definition which I think gave the piece some more character and um i like it that way also what i'm going to do is i will let it dry some more then i'm going to add some glitter to this piece and it's going to be stunning wait till you see the end result so after the paint cures completely i'm going to resin it and i just want to show you because i just finished this one and how it's going to look like i apologize for the reflection so as you can see, I want to show you some places. I have used glitters matching the colors in some places. As you can see, here's green. And then let me move this on the side. Um, I added some purple glitter here. And you can see I added a tad bit of green here and there. And on the other, other flower, I added peach colors uh glitters so that's the idea and i'm going to do the same thing with my other piece and it will look amazing as this one looks so thank you so much for being here today with me until next time bye take care